I bought a pair of the, the Carl Zeiss uh, CZAS vinyl viewers um, about six months ago, and they've been working great uh, for six months. But then a couple nights ago, I noticed that I wasn't able to merge the images uh, when I was trying to split uh, some, some double stars. So I knew that something had to, I needed to, I needed to collimate these. Um, I don't know what happened that happened that, you know, that they, I mean, they were working just fine, but something must have loosened up, I guess. So I need to figure out how to, to collimate these, these binary viewers. So I pull out the instructions that come with the binary viewers and I'm, I'm just a little, I was a little confused on how this was done because it is kind of a crude, uh, method of, of, of collimation. Um, but I was just a little confused. So, so then I did a search, searched on YouTube to see if there was a video. I couldn't find anything. So with a little help from um, from a uh, a fellow astronomer, um, I, I I tried I, I, I attempted to to do the collimation last night. Um, so what do you need to do? You need to so what what I found when it was happening uh, when I wasn't able to merge the images was that if I loosened up this the the right side and I lifted up the uh, the eyepiece. I mean, you can see here, right? When I put an eyepiece in here, right? I can I can lift this up just a little bit, right? And I noticed that if I lift it up just a little bit, if I push, actually, if I lifted it all the way, the image was was merged nicely. Okay, so I knew that um, either this side had to go up or this side had to go down. So, so how do you do that, right? You need to remove the eyepiece holders, right? And you will see that, right, we've got these six screws, right, over here, down here, and over here, right, with a Phillips screwdriver, you can loosen up these screws, and you can move this, um, this, this, this flange around, right, to, 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 to collimate the, the uh, right, to get the images to merge. Um, so, I went back and forth, um, trying to, right, to, um, to mer well, I, I went back. I, so I so what you got to do is you got to loosen up these screws, um, and then you move the eyepiece hold, or I mean the this flange, right? And you have to put the eyepiece holder back on, on both on both sides. You would, and then put the eyepieces in and see right and, and see if they see if it merges, see if the images merge. So you can. Um, so what I found was I was going back and forth. You know, too high, too low, too high, too low. So finally, what I did was I just because <clears throat> I was trying to adjust both sides. So finally what I did was I loosened up all six screws and I just centered the, these, these flanges on the body, right? Because you can see here, right? This is all, I mean, it's all, it all takes the same shape, right? So I centered this on, on, the, on, the, on the body and I tightened up the, because I figured, well, the body's got to be pretty close to being, right? On, you know, but let's start at that point, right? So I centered them on the body, tightened up the screws, put the eyepiece, eyepieces back on, eyepiece holders back on, like this, okay, put the eyepiece and hold it back on, then I put the eyepieces in, then I tighten them up, right, so now everything's tight, and then I, right, and then I Pointed at Arcturus and see and just to see if they if the images merged and they did it, worked, it merged pretty pretty darn nice actually but I wanted to see how close you know how accurate the uh, collimation was so again I loosened up the, both sides right of this thing and then I played with the the eye because right there they're a little bit loose right so then I played with the um, with the with the with the merging right and I noticed that this side over here on the left side at this point was was a little bit too high. So I took everything out. Okay, took everything out, took this thing back off, loosened up these screws on this on, on the left side, and moved this 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 flange down just a little bit, just a hair, right? And then I tightened up the screws again and put the eyepiece holder back on. Put the eyepieces back in and checked again the collimation, the, the merging of the images looked really good. 
and then I loosened up again and I played around with them to see if it was to see if it looked like pretty much the same all the way around and it did so at that point I thought I was I was, I was, I was very happy with how good they how well they were merging and um, so and I called it so at that point I, I called it uh, called it good um, and then spent the rest of the night uh, splitting doubles at, at about th at 337 I believe is what I was was at so that is um, in a nutshell how you would collimate these uh, the the Carl Zeiss uh, Bino viewer. Good luck.